This is Matt, and this is my test of MSISoft's Internet Security 11.10. Uh, I had a very malware or very virusy day today. Um, I, I saw a lot of viruses hitting our Barracuda spam firewall, and I downloaded seven of them in the last hour. So these are just about an hour or two old. So the whole goal of the test is to see if I can download MSISoft uh, Internet Security and install it easily. And we're going to use default settings for this vid for this uh, first video and see how it does. Can it protect this computer over here, this virtual computer over here? So let me go ahead and minimize this guy. And let's just go look for it. How would any person go look for this app? People seem to love this application. People who are fascinated with um, security. I don't know. I've, I haven't used it that much. I use it for cleaning up computers at work. So it's MSISoft. Do a search in Google. Uh, okay. Version 11. We're going to click Home. Internet Security. I wouldn't mind, I, I'm, I'm doing internet security because I wouldn't mind to take a look at the firewall and see if, you know, if I do get infected, are there things on the computer that are commu communicating on certain ports and things like that. So that's why I'm doing this. So uh, it is $49.95 if you want to buy it. Once again, this is version 11.10. Uh, it runs on Windows 7, 8, and 10. 30 days are free. Very nice of them. So, um, you can receive some security tips free of charge if you give them your name and email. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, I have a 100 meg connection. I live in the Midwest, so it's downloading pretty decent. It's 265 megabytes, and it's already done. Uh, if you're outside of the country, that could take you quite some time. Or it might be much faster. Just depends. I'll go ahead and accept the agreement. I'm just going to install with default settings. I'm not modifying a thing. If this video is popular enough, I'll go ahead and do another video uh, to where we go ahead and just crank up every setting they have and we'll see how it does. But um, like I said, I use this at work for a cleaning kind of tool or like a, you know, second, third opinion kind of thing. It's a solid. Uh, the anti-malware app is a solid app. I have never used the Internet Security app. I have no idea what the menus look like or anything like that. So. <clears throat> but yeah, last... Excuse me. Last few weeks, um, our spam firewall has been pounded by by malware. It's just it's just crazy right now. So we'll try uh, test it out for thirty days free. Uh, we have two um, two firewalls at work that check for malware, and you know maybe a couple times a week malware will get through the first firewall and get stopped on the second one. I have never had one. Yet, knock on my wooden desk, past the second firewall yet. All right, uh, we'll join the network. It's fine. So we're downloading new detection signatures. Done. Next. We'll enable pups. And finish. Partial protection. What the hell does that mean? Let's see. Okay. Oh, my computer's never been scanned. Uh, let's go ahead and scan it, just to get rid of this message. And I'll be right back. Well, it took, took like a, a whopping five seconds. I don't know what it was scanning. All right, like I said, default settings. Let's go ahead and close this window, and let's get down to biz. So we'll start from top, try to go to the bottom here. 
seven uh, pieces of malware. I'm assuming almost every one of them are nothing but encryption ransomware type of thing, uh, type of malware. Uh, so we'll do a drag and drop, hopefully. If not, I have to reboot. And I never know when these virtual machines are going to work with that. It's pretty annoying. No, you're not going to work, are you? All right, I'll be back. Damn it. Okay, that was pretty annoying. Well, I'm back now. Uh, let's go ahead and drag and drop that guy. It's our first sample. And let's open them up. Well, actually, before we open them up, let's scan them with MSISoft and see what we come up with. And bang! It detects it automatically. It says it's a Trojan downloader. And we'll say quarantine, just because we don't know for sure. And quarantine. Oops. Can I quarantine that one? No. Can I delete that one? That's weird. Okay, well, it's already gone. I guess the one quarantine I did just got rid of all of that, that whole archive. All right, let's go down to sample number two. Right click. Scan. Detected. Same piece of malware. Maybe a different signature or a different, you know, uh, well, different uh, piece of code. Who knows? Different signature. Quarantine. Gone. For the third one, I'm going to go ahead and just double click to open it and see what happens. So yeah, this is ransomware. Put that on my desktop. If I try to uh, double click it, what happens? It's odd. <clears throat> MSISoft doesn't really come up yet and say anything. Huh. Let's go ahead and scan it. It's odd. It, it sort of allows me to execute it or work with it, but once I scan it, it says it's infected. So, hmm. Zip file. Quarantine it. So it doesn't, with default settings, it doesn't really scan something as soon as you drag and drop it to your computer. You have to manually right click and scan. Like, I, I would figure, like, as soon as this came from a foreign computer, I'm going to scan it as soon as it hits my file system. But it does not. It, it doesn't do anything. When I extract it to my desktop, double click it, nothing happens, which is sort of concerning. I mean, I love that it knows what they are, but still allows you way too much access to them whenever you try to, uh, or whenever you scan them. Like right here, this should not even allow me to do this. It should say, okay, <clears throat> it's malware. But no. Like as soon as I drag and drop right to my desktop out of that zip file, it should scan it with default settings. I'm just saying, you know, maybe you can turn on settings to where it will do that. But with default settings, they should do that. So, yeah, I'm just double clicking. I have no idea if it's doing anything. No idea what this file is. But, again, right click, scan. Same thing, same virus. So it must have been a wave of the same type of uh, malware that came out. All right, scan it. Yeah, same thing. Oops. Well, yeah, I wish it would get rid of it once it once it's identified as malware. That'd be nice. I have to click uh, delete. Last one. So I'm sure it's the same thing. Yeah. Well, these were all taken like an hour ago, so that makes sense, man. They're 
different names, different subjects of emails and things like that. So I thought maybe I had something different, but they're all the same. Same type of virus. Now, not the same exact digital signature or or piece of code, but yeah. Anyway, um, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure how to feel about that. It, 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 it is able to detect everything, even, you know, stuff that was downloaded an hour ago, two hours ago. But it allows you to work with it way too much. So it would be nice if... As soon as you dragged that zip file off, you know, from a, from your network drive or from your USB drive or whatever you got, as soon as it hit your computer, it gets scanned and then deleted because, you know, it can obviously see it's bad. So, uh, anyway, that's for today. I'm going to go ahead and do another test tomorrow. I'll try to get different samples if I can. So... I don't know how to feel about it yet. I'll probably I might work with it for a few days just because this application is so popular. Um, also, in the future, uh, a few small videos, some snippets uh, of how to do certain things in Windows 10. Um, a few more tutorial videos in the future that I have, uh, you know, kind of laid out. So, uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, play some uh, Battlefield One beta now. It's uh, Friday, and I'm just going to chill. So I'll talk to you guys later.